Wasabi Operation Android here and in this video I'm gonna be talking about the lost sky cage bosses or prisoners now this isn't any enemy that you can fight in the game which is a secret or a hack besides the three sky cage bosses that you encounter which are Xylotto, Petrified Knock and the Iron Hunter now the reason I say the lost sky cage prisoners or bosses is because there are more than three sky cages around the vault of tears or the tower and we only encounter three of the sky cage the sky cages and as you can see the room where the sky cages are is a semicircle meanwhile the tower is a circle so on the other side of this there's more sky cage sky cages because when you look at the tower you can see that there's actually eight sky cages hanging from the side of the tower now eight is get, is estimating from the top view when you fight Thane but you can only actually see five sky cages now it has been confirmed that there are other enemies not necessarily deathless in the sky cages because Donald Mustard said this in a podcast and I'm gonna go ahead and play that audio for you now who are in the remainder of the sky cages who are in the remainder of the sky cages so that's a good catch yes there are mm -hmm. there are definitely more sky cages uh, than than what you saw on that that kind of that half of the tower that you saw in the in the uh, the update from Infinity Blade 2 um, well so if you look at the prisoners that you did see in the sky cages uh, they were they were people who were at some point either threatening or posed some sort of uh, imposition on on the the deathless who who guard the vault of tears um, I guess we can get into that a little bit I'll bring up some questions um, but those were not soul cells right so that those cages are literally just you know prisons so the people in there could have been deathless they they might be more minor deathless or whatever but they're they're high value prisoners that don't warrant a soul cell so the remaining few prisoners that are in there are just other people that you know offended some deathless or or just got in the way of someone's agenda and had the misfortune of being stuck in a sky cage because that would suck <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the sky cages up there were basically a decoration i mean i would have hoped that there were more sky cage prisoners made would have made the game a lot cooler with more content because the sky cages came later in the game as an update package and that was pretty cool but as he alluded to the other sky cages they're pretty much insignificant but my question is Silato and the petrified knock were not very important to the story of infinity blade 2 but the iron hunter definitely is important to the story because you have two options either to spare him or to kill him and when you do spare him he comes and gives you the torn's legacy which is also not certain but possibly could be a deathless killer as the iron hunter refers to it but all in all the other sky cages are more insignificant than significant and basically for decoration but my question is will these be these sky cage bosses be significant in Infinity Blade games to come, or will they be significant in the new Infinity Blade Redemption book coming out soon? Let me know in the comment section below if you think the other sky cages were just decoration or there's something else to them that we missed in Infinity Blade 2 and that can be put into other Infinity Blade games or mentioned in the upcoming Infinity Blade Redemption. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then subscribe to the Infinity Blade Masters and if you would like more content from me then subscribe to my channel as well as follow the Infinity Blade Masters and I on Twitter.